Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overstadt. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching out the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Harajuku palette. This is their Tokyo palette. This is a stunning palette. I did pick this up uh, a month or so ago. Uh, this was after, well, it, we're in May. Um, I did an entire month of pastel shades on my channel in April because I wanted to see how I liked the looks of them on me. And then I decided that it was worth it and I picked this up as well as a, a bundle. So I picked up all, uh, I picked up four of their palettes at one time. So I will leave other videos with this linked down below. This is a beautiful palette. So the top row you have matte shades. The middle row are more like satin shades and then the bottom row are like these really neat shifting duochromatic shimmer shades. And this otaku shade did arrive cracked. Um, I'm a little broken but I've squashed the cat and it is okay. So we're going to be swatching this today. And I do have my Fabletics makeup removing cloth here to get fingers and stuff clean. And I will be doing a comparison video right after this with the Jawbreaker palette because people asked how comparable it is between the two. And you guys tell me, I think they're, they're pretty comparable. So um, let's check out this one. We'll do swatches inside and video outside so you can see what it looks like in natural sunlight. I will do shaded tree cover as well as direct sunlight uh, so you guys can see what the swatches look like. Hopefully you enjoy this. First we're going to do kawaii, which means cute in Japanese. And then you've got takinoko zuku and mel tiru. I'm ruining the pretty little kitties. Now I will be doing uh, double swatches for all of these just because I do double swatches whenever I do these videos to, to keep it consistent. So there are the first three. And I do have a dry towel in my lap. <laughs> and then we have Kokori and Visual Kai. And we're going to do Lolita as well. So we're going to do Kokori here and Visual Kai. And then Kokori, we're going to start down here. little bit of fallout with that gray shade. I did a bigger swatch of this because I'm going to show you. This here, this shade here, if you look, it has a sheen to it. That's what I mean when I say a satin shade. It's a matte shade that has this like sheen on it. So it's shiny like a metallic would be, but it's not like glittery or anything. It just has a bit of a shine. So there's the entire first row and the first one from the second row. This is Now is Forever, and we have Hanami and Garu. These shadows also build up really nicely. Bubby, it's not bad time, honey. Then we have Kori Niji, and then Decora, and Zaku Zaku. I don't even know if those are going to pick up on my finger the shift down. So we're going to do this one here. And then I wanted to do big swatches of these so that you can actually see them better in the, the sun when I go outside. 
And I was going to do this like hours ago, but the sun was not participating. It was hiding behind some clouds and it looked like it was going to pour at one point. Thankfully it didn't. So hopefully while I'm recording this, it, the sky doesn't open up and, you know, dump a bunch of rain on my plants. Then we have Takeshita Dori, Moshi Moshi, and Otaku. Now she just released a palette called Studio 54 with these type of shades or these type this formula for like a highlighter palette because people loved this formula so much they asked her specifically to make these into a highlighter formula. So if you um, go to their website and look at the Studio 54 collection, there are a couple of different options for like individual highlighters and then they've got a quad that you can look at as well. And I'm not affiliated with this brand. I don't earn any money um, from anything that I recommend, but these are such beautiful shades. Let me get my fingers clean. These swatches are looking, they look dark. I mean, I'm under the ring light. So here are all of the swatches from the Tokyo palette. Now with this palette, um, other than the couple of shades that have fallout, which are mainly the two gray shades, the bottom row does have a little bit of glitter fallout. The mattes blend um, instantly. Like, even though I just washed all my makeup brushes, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and we're just gonna go into, and if you look, there is kick up in the pan. Well, my hand isn't a very good example because my hands are super dry. but it's like a light wash of color and it blends immediately on the eye. So you don't need a whole lot of product to get color payoff with this palette. Um, you, I mean, with some of the lighter shades like the yellow and this Hanami shade, you do need to like build them up a little bit because they are super light shades. But here is the palette. It is beautiful. I haven't had any issues with it other than, you know, a little bit of fallout between those two. And you can, kind of see the lavender hint on my, my hand from this, from the, the Takinoko Zuku shade. Um, but if you put it over like a white base, like uh, a concealer or the Milk Makeup, um, or the, the NYX make, Makeup, or NYX Cosmetics Milk uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil, that gives it something really white underneath to stick to, that works. I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in 00, that works amazing as well. Um, anything that's going to help it like even out the base underneath and using a lighter than your skin tone colored base underneath these is also going to help them pop. I also find you can use them with a fluffy brush or a flat synthetic brush, a dense brush. Um, I've used like specialty brushes with these. You can use these wet or dry. I haven't had any issues with hard pan in these using wet or dry brushes. Um, it, and it really is personal preference on what you want to use versus what you can use. But I haven't had any issues with this palette or any of the three other palettes that I have from this brand. And I think it's a beautiful color story. I like the stories that they put behind these palettes where um, the owners have visited the actual location. They look around, they find the color story. They like the Lolita thing for Japan or the Kawaii thing where it's all like pastel shades and cutesy shades, but then you've got like the Lolita stuff, which is usually like pastels, but then you've got some darker, richer, like goth kind of shades, like these grays and this darker purple. You'll find a lot of that incorporated in some of the Lolita styles. They take the colors from the location and they incorporate it into the colors of the palette. And I also like 
that the palette itself on the outside not only has um, some anime looking things on it, but it also matches the colors in the palette. So I like the fact that they take into consideration those things. Hopefully you guys like this swatch video. I will go do a video outside since the air just came on. I'm gonna shut up and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, here we are outside in shaded cover. You can see what the swatches look like outside. sunlight I'm near the end of the driveway thankfully the Sun is participating with me I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see the uh, these shades here on my arm like these swatch videos that I do. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and share it with the people that might like to watch it, even if it's just with pretty colors. I have fun filming these videos. I actually like filming these videos. I learn quite a bit about shadows doing these. So if you ever have questions or want swatches of something, please let me know and I will get them recorded if I have the item. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a fabulous day or night.